So on behalf of our members, on behalf of our community, on behalf of the country, we would like to thank you so much for being here today. Francis, Joe, what an honor, what an honor and a privilege. To thank you. What message in the bottle? Yeah. You know, it's, it's a song about wanting, wanting to make a connection. And uh, it was very important to, to come here and make a connection with the workers here. Because the story we're telling on the stage every night of the Princess of Wales is, is this story. It's a very human story. It's, it's, a, it's a very um, common story. And so we wanted to come here and express our solidarity and, and our support for their, for their struggle. But it's, it's quite uncanny, the, the parallel between what we're doing on stage every night and what, what we're seeing today. You know, we, we are telling your story and it's important that your story is heard. You know, we are storytelling uh, creatures, and the story is hugely important. You, it, this can't be buried under a political carpet, you know, as Jerry says, the, the world needs to know, Canada needs to get behind you, it's important. I think you, you have a, a duty to support the community that's worked for you, and uh, it's, it's a mutual, it should be a mutual support system. It's about loyalty. You know, these workers have, have loyally given their lives to the company. It's a two-way street. You can't just walk away. Today was about saying to General Motors in the strongest terms is that we're not accepting their decision to close the facilities. GM made a commitment to us in September of 2016, verbally and in writing, that they were not closing the plant. So after announcing $8.1 billion for 2018, my guess is it wouldn't be difficult for them to live up to their commitment. So today's performance highlights choices that people make in life and those choices are to be made by General Motors as well because Canadians are furious people feel betrayed <clears throat> and today is about symbolizing all of the things that's wrong with raw capital when they walk away from communities that have supported them for generations we are going to do everything we can to make sure that General Motors reverses this horrendous decision Canadians are punishing them every day. I talk to people every day on the streets. If you look at GM sales, they dropped 30% in December, 15% in January. So Canadians are punishing them and that's the only thing they understand. So ultimately GM can fix this. They can change their mind. We can move on. We can talk about what we're gonna be doing next year in Oshawa. They have the whereabouts financially and product wise to make a better decision. So the question is, do they have the intestinal fortitude to do it?